what's up you guys welcome back to my channel if you guys are new here what's up my name is andrea if you guys are returning thank you so much for coming back y'all today is july 1st of 2023 and when i tell you guys the past few months have been both challenging but have been the some of the best months i've had in a very very long time and you're probably like andrea why is that boo boo i got you this is why i have been planning for success for every single day and i'm gonna walk you guys through a process that i've been using for on a monthly basis in order to hit the goals that i have to stay focused on the priorities that i've lined out to stay in alignment with god the whole time y'all when i tell y'all i have been trying to do this <laughs> for a very long time and this strategy has helped me so much. So it's July 1st and this literally, this video is not planned at all. And so <laughs> I'm literally doing planning with you guys right now for the month of July for myself. So like I told you guys, the past few months have been honestly amazing. Um, obviously every day wasn't just peaches and roses, but <laughs> um, they have been, I am just very thankful and very blessed and very just, in awe of what God has done over the past few months in my life. So I'm going to walk you guys through, um, kind of the May and June really fast before we get into actually planning July. So, um, this is what it looks like. I think I showed you guys in like an actual vlog of like what the overall look looks like. Okay. So I want you guys to just have a view of it. So what I did is I start out each month with like, I will title a piece of paper, May plan um, or June plan, whatever month is. We're gonna do this in a minute for July, but I will title that with the page and I'll write down what are some of the objectives I wanna hit this month. And I also have forced myself to not go over three. Um, and so that helps me because I feel like I try to do it all at once and then I burn out. And so I would rather just focus on three things every month. And imagine if I hadn't started in May, I would just be starting again in July. You know what I mean? So like me looking back, I feel like I'm living far more intentionally than I was before. And so um, over really the past few years, y'all, I feel like I've been living the past few months much more intentionally than I have over the past few years. So very grateful to God for that, or very grateful to God for that. Okay, so some of the things I also like to mention on the actual plan is my focus verse and also what we're believing God for. So my focus verse for May was Matthew 6, 33, which is, but seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all things will be added unto you. And then another thing that I write over here on the side is believing God for. So three things that I was believing God for in May was fresh fire and fresh vision. And when I tell y'all, he blew my mind with that. Um, second was development of discipline and consistency. Oh, yeah. Third is deep in a relationship with God. And y'all, again, I feel like blown away. Okay. Absolutely blown away. So those were three things there. And then what I do up here at the top, so we have focus verse, we have believing God for, and then over here I have health. So what are some things I'm prioritizing when it comes to my health? So I kind of split this up in categories. Okay. So health, I said, follow meal plan, strength training, and 30 minutes of walking a day. Then brand two videos a week and then revisit yearly plan, like replanning out the year in like the plan that I said in December. And then I also go based on what book do I want to read this month? Okay. So in May I was reading purpose driven life, which is an amazing book by I believe Rick Warren. I'll put it down below in the description box for you. It is a phenomenal book. So if y'all want to check it out, check it out. It's really, really good. Um, and then my kind of priority for that month was really spending 30 minutes of quiet time a day with God. When I tell y'all this helps me in May live so much more intentionally because I, I, it simplified what I wanted to do every day. Um, and obviously there's so many more things I did during the day, but these are the top things I wanted to, to knock off. So you guys can see quiet time with God and then like certain workouts or walk for 30 minutes a day that if I didn't do anything else that day, if I just hit that, I would have hit my goal. And the reason I did it in so like such small chunks was because at the end of the month, I can look back and one, see how did May go? How did June go? Um, but also I can see like day by day, when did I start falling off on my quiet time? When did I start falling off on working out? Like, what did that look like for me? And then just having a day by day plan of what I'm going to going to be doing, but not something that's like overly planned out. Cause I've tried this before and I've overly planned it out, which is why we're going to walk through July together. That way you don't fall into that trap either. Mm -hmm. 
So the first step that I'm gonna take is I wanna decide what do I want the month to look like, right? Like, do I want it to be similar to last month but more enhanced? Do I want to add an extra habit to stack on top of the other two that I've been building on? What do I want that to look like as a whole, okay? So I just take some time, reflection, I pray, God, what do you want the focus verse to be for me during this month? What do you want that to look like? One of the things that I, I've i messed up on before, I've made, <laughs> countless mistakes time and time again is not including God in my plans um, and th that's that's a mistake I, I highly don't recommend zero out of ten recommend so I like to pray before I do this I like to um, get in the face of God I've already had my quiet time this morning I feel ready to do these plans um, and go forth from there okay focus verse what I want that to be I feel like I need to grab my Bible I think I'm gonna do fruit of the spirit I, in my Bible, I have it like highlighted and never, not highlighted, but at the top, I wrote Fruit of the Spirit. And for some reason, I feel like I need to do Fruit of the Spirit. So, but the Holy Spirit produces the kind of fruit in our lives. Love, joy, peace, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. There is no law against these things. Okay, y'all, so we have our focus verse, with like I, which, like I said, is the fruit of the Spirit. I'm going to need to write down what the actual verse, verse is. And some of the things that I'm actually believing for this year, or, well, also this year, this month, is consistency and discipline. I said Holy Spirit's guidance. And then, this is something that God has placed on my heart for a while, but an at once or a suddenly answered prayer. Um... So yeah, there's that. I'm excited about this. I'm excited. Next, we're going through health, brand, and to decide um, health plans, then brands, and then also book that I want to read for this month. So I think I'm gonna do book first. No, actually I'm not, because I don't know which book I want to read actually. So let's do health first. Health is Follow meal plan. This one's not really gonna change much. But I do think, so last month I did, at, towards the end of the month, I'm saying last month, it was literally yesterday, but anyway. Um, <laughs> last month I, towards the end of the month, I started getting to like five days a week in the gym. And so I think that's what I'm gonna go after in July. Um, yeah. <laughs> okay, so follow meal plan. So we're gonna strength train four days a week and then a cardio day one day a week. And if y'all are curious where I'm getting that from is I actually follow Whitney Simmons. She's a YouTuber. Um, I followed her for years, but I follow her. She has an app called Alive and I'm actually following some challenge she has on the app, which is literally working out five days a week. So um yeah and i've actually been really enjoying the program as well as being in the gym and all of it so yeah um so five days a week so i have four days of strength training one day of cardio and then of course the other two are recovery days and uh, what else i need to drink my water drink water and i'm literally just like leveraging what went well from june and, and may to see what i want to add for july um, I need to do walking 30 minutes a day, but I'm not going to lie. I haven't been doing that. So I think <laughs> like, like at all. So I think what I'm going to do is just stay with the cardio day or with the workout, like the workout split and just go with that. And then hopefully I get my other steps in. I know it sounds kind of productive because like plan what you want, but I'm like, one thing about me is for this, I have to keep it simple or I'm not going to do it, okay? That's that's the key. So for health, I have follow meal plan, strength train four times a week, cardio one times a week, and then drink my water. 
and then let's go for brand stuff. I was like, what is that? It's my Apple Watch alerting me of something from CVS. Brand, we're gonna do two videos a week on YouTube like we've been doing and then follow the normal content calendar outside of that. Um, and honestly, again, keeping it real simple. I am, I think I told you guys another YouTube video, I'm thinking about introducing strategy calls back in. Um, and all that would be is like I, like I say, hey, here's our, here are three different types of calls. You can book one of them with me. So if you wanna book a, you know, let's build out content ideas for you. Let's build out your brand archetype for you. Um, and like having it split like that. But again, let me know in the comments if you guys would be interested in something like that. I'm trying to figure out if I wanna add it to this list or just keep going crazy with content. I think I just need to keep going crazy with content because that's what got laid on my heart. So, actually I just answered my own question. So, and of course, like again, I still am going to introduce those strategy calls, but I'm just trying to figure out when. So if you're interested in that though, put it in the comments and let me know. Um, two videos a week on YouTube, and then follow content calendar. Also, side note, as I'm writing this stuff, y'all, if you do not follow me on Instagram, what are you doing? Come on, come join the fun over there. Okay, that's it. I was gonna say more, but that's literally it. Just come, <laughs> be sure you're following us over on Instagram, or yeah, Instagram as well, so you can keep the party going on multiple platforms. Okay, so we have health, brand, focus verse, what we're believing for, and then we need our book. So what book should we read? Hmm. I'm gonna go to my bookshelf and <laughs> see what books I got. A while ago, I actually got like several different books. You guys can see them down here. And I'm gonna pick from like this side over because these are like the new books. So I may try this one, Every Good Endeavor by, hold on, not focused. Every Good Endeavor by Tim Keller, Connecting Your Work to God's Work. Hmm. Maybe. Last month's book was not an audible. And did I read it? No. Now, did I read the 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 one before that? Um, what's it called? I'll pop it up on the screen. <laughs> uh, Purpose Driven Life. Did I read that book? Yes. But guess what? It was also an audible. So, <laughs> let me see if every good endeavor it is. Oh, um, I think we're gonna read this. I think we're gonna read this. I will say too, something else that I want to read is a book called, um, what's down there? It's like, I can make you I, I can make you rich or something. I don't know, I can't remember the name of it. By, oh my God, let me just get the book. Cause I'm gonna butcher all of this, hold on. This book, I will teach you how to be rich. He has a show on, ew, <laughs> hair on it. He has a show on Netflix and I watched it. It's actually really good. It's not just like, a dude who wanted to just sell his books more. I mean, it worked, but it's not as, it's not like salesy, I guess. It's literally him walking people through his strategies that are in this book. And I thought that was a genius way to go about it. And so, anywho, y'all, his name is Ramit Sethi. It seems very personal, very human, like, he's a human, but you know what I mean? Some people are, you know, whatever. So. I want to read this book. However, within these plans, I like to think, I like to read books that are like personal development um, from Christians, like Christian personal development. It's usually like what I try to go after, but I do want to read this book either this month or next. And so I may just add it as like a bonus book, but this is the book that I'm like truly focusing on this month. That's, I think that's what I'll do. Oh, that's real bright. Oh, that's super bright. Is that too bright? Well, if this is too bright, y'all, let me know. It looks bright on my screen. Hopefully it's not that bright, but we're just gonna see. Yeah, it looked a little bright. Anyway, um, <laughs> trying to adjust my camera. So, we have the plan laid out. Now I'm literally gonna transfer it to my planner in the exact same way I've showed you guys before. Um, just, out, of course, in July. So you can see this took a lot of, a lot of thinking, of planning it out. Um, but now we have a plan for July. And I will tell you a few tips. A few tips is I like to do this like on the 28th, typically. Um, 
rather than the first day of the month because I, I want the first day of the month to start the plan versus me making the plan and then trying to implicate, implicate Im, implement the plan on that same day if that makes any sense so um just heads up i'm literally doing it today because honestly i forgot and i was like you know what i'm already filming on on saturday so might as well do the plan with you guys and film it so you guys can see the process in case this helps you as well for me like i said you guys it <laughs> oh my gosh i have tried for so long to find something that works for me um that i can stick with it's not like overwhelming um so this has been working really well let's go ahead and transfer this to my actual planner okay So we have the plan, super simple. We know what we're doing every single day. We're good, okay? So here's the plan like I just showed you guys. I don't know if it's gonna focus. There's the plan. I will put it up on the screen for you guys to see in detail, but just running through like what a week looks like is Sunday we have quiet time and then I post a YouTube video. So obviously I like to schedule all my videos out. Well, not obviously, but I like to schedule all my YouTube videos out. So usually whenever I get that video uploaded, it's good to go, it's done. I will come on my list and check them off like ahead of time. So Sunday is quiet time and YouTube video. Monday is quiet time and cardio. Tuesday, every day is quiet time by the way, y'all. <laughs> Tuesday, quiet, and I wanna say quiet time, it's 30 minutes of quiet time a day with God. Um, Tuesday is quiet time and leg day. Wednesday is quiet time, upper workout, YouTube video. Thursday is quiet time and my weekly reset. So my weekly reset, and I kind of forgot about this until last week, funny enough, but I saw this girl on TikTok and she was like, do your weekends feel short or something? I don't know. And I was like, yes! And <laughs> she was like, then use a weekday to kind of like reset for your week. So, you know, normally it's like Sunday resets and stuff like that. It's like allow your weekend to be your weekend. And so I usually will, I, I was really, really good at this and I kind of fell off a bit, a bit ago. I don't know why, but Thursdays would be like my, my like reset day. I would go fill up my car. I would clean my car out. I would clean my house. I would do my dishes. I would wash clothes. All of that normal reset stuff I would do on Thursday. So I noted that here just because I'm not gonna lie, I put an extra little little circle or little little square and I forgot and there was nothing to fill in Thursday, so I just added weekly reset, okay? But that is what I do on Thursday. So weekly reset is on Thursday. Friday is quiet time and leg day. And then Saturday is quiet time and upper. So again, that's four days of cardio, or sorry, no. Four days of strength, one day of cardio, noted in here. Um, and then these are the main things I wanna go after. These are hitting the actual goals. I don't, as you guys can see, I don't script out everything. And I wanna also caveat this to say too, like let this be flexible. Let this work with your schedule. Don't be like, oh, if I miss my 12 o'clock workout that I'm not going at all. No, like allow it to be flexible. Allow it to fit in with your normal lifestyle that you enjoy. Like if a friend hits you up and they wanna hang out, okay, then how can I get these two things done today as well as hang out with you? Do you see what I'm saying? Some days I, like for example, there was a day I went to the gym and it was just, a, I just didn't have a great gym day. It was a leg day specifically. I just didn't have a good leg day. And so the next day I literally went and did upper as well as like the rest of my leg day. So yes, it was, it was a wild day in the gym, but I got it done. You see what I'm saying? So like no excuses type of, type of mindset is where we're at. Um, but allow it to be flexible because there was a time and I've talked to you guys about this in, in videos in the past where 
I allowed my goals to trump everything and everybody and didn't have any flexibility for my family, for my boyfriend at the time, for life, for friends, for anything, you know what I mean, outside of the goals. And then the goals eventually I began to resent. So this is why I do it this way. It's super simple. I can look at this and I say, okay, cool. Today is cardio day and just knock out your quiet time. I will say quiet time. It's best if I get it done in the morning. For some reason, if I wait to do it, it's just a little harder to feel like I will get it in. Um, doesn't mean I don't, doesn't mean I don't. Sometimes I don't, I'm gonna be real. But, um, but if I wake up in the morning and do my quiet time right then, one, it starts my day off so much better um, and giving God the first part of my day as well as it ensures it gets done. So that's what I like to do. I like to wake up about like an hour before I have to do anything or I get to do anything for that day. So work or filming videos or whatever that is and just have some me time um, that first hour. And that includes quiet time. Sometimes it's like an hour and a half before I have to do something. Cause I like to shower in the mornings, every morning, no matter if I shower that night before. Anyway, whatever. Um, <laughs> one thing I will say is whenever it comes to praying for consistency and discipline, there's also action that has to happen on your part too. So I ask the Holy Spirit to help me um, prioritize spending time with him, prioritize getting to the gym, prioritize um, what I'm putting in my mouth. And I believe he helps me with discipline and consistency, but of course there's action um, that I also need to do on my side that he's given me strength to do, right? So anyway, you guys, those are, that's what I do. That's what I've been doing for the past two months. Um, I'm excited to see what it looks like after uh, July and I will keep you guys updated. I love you to the moon and back. If you have not checked out this next video, be sure you do so. I believe it'll truly help you. All right, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.